story also coming up this morning is the fact that Godfrey Obabuna, he is right now in camp. Uh, just yesterday we had this report that he wasn't there. He missed the first training session yeah. on Tuesday morning. And of course this morning he's back in camp. Of course Ben Alaya will be joining us later on, on the show to actually talk about what is happening in the Super Eagles camp right there at the FIFA Go Project. They're having the training section right now this morning and Godfrey Babuna just joined the team. So you now have 24 players in camp on Tuesday morning. It was 23 of them that trained. But right now you have 24 in camp and of course uh, Godfrey Babuna is one player you wouldn't really want to to miss simply because 25 appearances for the Super Eagles and he has been able to score one goal. The yeah. last game uh, when he played in Sunshine just last week, yeah, and it was practically more because the fans and all that were really happy seeing him. Yeah, yeah, God, Godfrey Obabana is a, is, a, is, a, is a bona fide um, Nigerian football star right now, so it's good to have him back. And yeah, they were scared as well, he, he wasn't, wasn't going to make um, the team because he missed the training yesterday. But like, like I said, he's joined the team this morning, and he will be one of those players who will be banking on going yeah, to Abidjan because he's one of the most experienced in the team right in now. He's been with the course. Super Eagles. And um, he's a player you can always rely on when it comes to the back. Okay, yeah, exactly. Ben Alaya join us right now from Abuja. Ben, good morning. Good morning, Ben. Nigeria. You're welcome to Sports this morning on China's television. Thank you for having me. Okay, uh, we understand that uh, the match uh, against Cote d'Ivoire will be played on artificial turf. That is, that's uh, July 27. How are the players taking this one? Well, you know that the players are, are used to artificial turf. Um, most of the stadiums are across to Nigeria, like the uh, Portino Stadium, the one in Adelksta, the one in Warri, the Nam Dezik Way Stadium, and many more are all at Fisher Toss, you know, Samuel Media Stadium, and these are the pitches where these players have been playing the Premier League and even the, some of the FA Cup games that the Federation Cup Cup game games that will come up today. So they are used to it. However, the technical cool uh, is not taking chances. Okay. That's why. Even uh, as we speak, we are just from the training session at uh, the Tupago project, which is also an artificial top. So okay, we are training an artificial okay. top for the game in Abidjan. Okay, how many players trained this morning? All 24 players trained this morning, including Godfrey Obabuna. Everybody is in camp, everybody is well, where they speak. If you listen very well, you will hear the humming of the bus. The bus okay, is just okay. packing. Right the now they are training. The okay. Training Okay, now you, you're going to have, in, you, we will be having just 20 players who will be making the final court. And can you give us a hint of some of these players that will make it to cut the vote? Because you have 24 players right now, only 20 will be uh, making the final court. Give us a hint from the training they've been having, which of the players that will be able to make it to the final squad? I think it's still a bit too early to start jumping the gun. But okay. of course, we know we have only two goalkeepers. So those ones are certain, they said any of them is injured. That's the only one I can see. Apart from that, all the players here are doing very well in training. And, uh, okay, you really can't uh, say which. Uh, any of them can make it. Okay, you, you really can't say which player already have a permanent shirt. I mean, has tied down the shirt, not even Obabuna? <laughs> no, not even Obabuna. Nobody has a permanent shirt. That's so everyone really have to training. fight for shirt? Yes, that's become this, the essence of the competition in camp. Everybody fights for his shirt. Okay, uh, we landed on Tuesday that Edison Echejile visited the teammates. Uh, how did they receive this one? So oh, very well. They're used to him. He's used to them too. I mean, most of them, to it, uh, nine of them have been together with him uh, at the national camp. And uh, you know, at the confederation stop too, he was there. So it was just uh, like a visit home to him. He just came to see the coaches and the technical good. How motivated are the players in camp with the visit of Eda Snechejile? Well, uh, you know, this, the last time again we played in uh, Kaduna, you recall that uh, the Ambrose and uh, Michael and Arama were there to put the boys. It's, it's, it's just for, to encourage them to say that you can go there and do it well and uh, do it even better than uh, do some, some of those who are abroad and the players, you know. They used to themselves. They, they, don't forget, they even used to play in the league together. So it's, it's a morale boost already. Okay, now, you've seen the training section so far. How ready are the players? Can you say with what they've done so far, the players are really ready to, to take on their variance? Judging from the fact that they have a 4-1 lead, and of course 4-1 lead is something that can be slim when it comes to football. Of course, 4-1 lead is, uh, is uh, not an good, but uh, the league does have made it very clear to them that... Uh, 
forget about the four one to pick up the Ivorians in the Kaduna and focus on the next match in uh, in uh, Abidjan and the players are taking it so very, very serious. With their training session, the competition is high. That's what I told you earlier. So everybody's taking it very serious. Okay. When will uh, the players yeah. be leaving for Cote d'Ivoire for the game? The team I think should be the next next week Wednesday, a week from today the team should be the partner. Okay, thank you very much, Ben. Okay, thank you very much, Ben, for joining us on the show this morning. Thank you, Cecilia. All right, we heard from Ben Alaya talking yeah. about the Supreme Goods preparations and all that. From all indication, it seems that the players are ready to go. So, yeah. Lucas Wallen. Yeah, absolutely. Um, the players are ready. They're, they're, everybody's in camp. Everybody's fit and ready to go. But um, you said something about 24 players in camp and only 20 making it. I, I, <laughs> yeah, I, I don't think it's going to be too many changes. Um, I think it's going to be the huge suspect. And I think there's other in the new call-ups have actually been called up to actually have a feel of uh, being what, part okay, of the you, Super You're Eagles. thinking the new call-ups will will not make yeah, the final that, yeah, that's my, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that they to actually provide com competition and actually um, have a feel of being a part of the Super Eagles because uh, you know, Stephen Keshe knows this is not the right time to be making um, um, okay, experimental won. changes. It's he something. did it at the Confederations Cup, yeah, remember? but I don't think he's going to do this. <laughs> this, is a, this, is a knockout. this is a knockout. We're at knockout state now. We're going into a very crucial second leg game, so I don't think he's going to want to make a lot of um, experimental changes. And um, unless, the only reason that why that's going to happen is okay. when and if one of the regulars actually suffers okay, an incredible now, loss of 